The process is going as reasonably as well as can be expected. It can be slow, it requires patience, but um, the people are being very cooperative and they're being patient, which is what it takes. Okay, how many people are in here right now? I would say about at least 100, um, and that's doing, since 10 o'clock in the morning. There's still, you know, about 75 maybe, give or take about that in there in the building right now. People come and go. But the, we're trying to get as many people in mean, another place to stay. We're encouraging people to stay with friends and family. That's the number one thing we're trying to do right now. And then those who don't have a place to go tonight will be staying here again tonight. Okay. Uh, we'd hope we'd hope to close it down, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. When, when do you expect it might be closed? It's, it, it's hard to say. We have a big snowstorm coming. That complicates things a little bit for us. But um, you know, in terms of finding places to stay for people, but um, you know, we'll stay open as long as it takes. We have a variety of things going on. We have mental health counselors is among the things we provide inside. But the primary thing right now is people are meeting with caseworkers. One on one, they're doing paperwork, assessing their specific needs, and they're being issued client assistance cards, so they're like debit cards. And Red Cross puts money on there, depending on their needs, um, to pay for things like uh, winter coats, shoes, food, um, clothing, toiletries, we also have comfort kits that have people who stayed at the shelter get comfort kits, which has soap, shampoo, um, toothbrush, that sort of stuff, just to sort of make it as comfortable as possible. Um, and it's sort of a, you know, you wait your turn and you fill out the paperwork. And, but they, they are issued the cards right then and there, and they can use that to go buy the supplies they need. Okay. One last thing. Um, everybody wants to know how they can help, but um, there's probably some things that you don't want them bringing here. Well, uh, it's just very difficult to manage people dropping off clothing here at the school. That's, just, that's not going to help us because we, have, or we want to concentrate on helping the folks inside. What we're doing is the Red, this Red Cross is accepting monetary donations only through our website, redcrossphilly.org, where they can call 215-299-4000 and pay by credit card. If you wanted to drop off clothing, the Salvation Army is accepting clothing donations at three locations, one in Roxboro, one in Upper Darby, and one at 21st and Market, near, near here. If people have clothing to drop off, they can do at those locations, but do not drop them off here at the school.